That was a clip of the newest version of HGTV's Cash in the Attic. The popular series is back on TV after more than a decade off the air. And a talented Houstonian is the host of the reboot, and her name is Courtney Tezano, and she's here with us today. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Courtney. <laughs> this is crazy. We've actually met. We just you, we just kind of figured this out, but we met a, many years ago. Yeah, when I was a teenager, which is wild to me that this is a full circle moment now. It really is. This is so incredible. We love shining a spotlight on all of our Houstonians, making it big. Talk to me, first of all, about this reboot with HGTV that you're now hosting. Yeah. This is such a great project. It really is. It feels like it's it's something I was always meant to do. It's really a cultural reboot. So uh, the old ones you're watching, like antique shows, right. and it feels like it's a very specific demographic. This has broadened everything for us. And so we've got Beanie Babies. We have comic books. All of these 90s and 80s throwback nostalgia is really what makes the show great. And it also has a really great emotional aspect to it where we're really diving and deep and helping them part ways with things that are really tough to leave, you know, get rid of. Absolutely. You know, my mom sold her, our childhood home um, over a year ago. And oh. so I had a Barbie collection. I know what it's like to kind of go through these things. Yeah. And so you're right along with these people as they're kind of going through this process yeah. and potentially finding some cash for their items. Oh yeah, that's the whole point. <laughs> we want to help them find some cash so that they can fund their dreams. But it really is about decluttering and just really finding things that help them either pay for their weddings or renovate their homes. There are so many different goals that people have, and so I feel really privileged to be able to go in their homes and dig through their stuff and kind of have like that wow moment that they kept these things, but also that once we end this, they can go and fund their dreams. What I think is so cool is that you're telling these people's stories, their life stories, along with the treasures that they're finding. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what's deep in your soul. Uh, you work as an entertainment journalist. Let's talk about growing up here in Houston. Oh. Give us all the details you went to <laughs> Hightower High right yes I went to Hightower so that was really the start for me the media Academy and my teachers there shout out to Ted Irving he really helped me so much in growing to be the talent that I am now uh, but that program was like no other no other place in the country where you will have high schoolers who are doing journalism work or preparing to really jump into that field and so I was really able to cut my teeth there and it really started pro to propel my career from there and we just saw another photo of you was that <laughs> track this is graduation obviously but you were also in track is that I right? was I was a tomboy growing up I surely Love was that. but yeah I had I played all types of sports track volleyball basketball all the things in here in Houston I think it's great also you're a passionate collector too so I feel like this latest project with HGTV mm -hmm. is kind of speaking to you it is it is you know I kind of felt like maybe I'm just like holding on to things and that's not normal but truly keeping those beanie babies and the Nintendo DS and the Pokemon Pokemon cards from when I was younger they mean something to me and my sister and so to be able to do a show where I literally am helping people similar to me is a full circle moment it's so great um, here's the other thing too. high tower high oh is that you that's me that's my oh. Yes, the love of Power Ranger. Oh that's my me as a little girl. Gosh, I love that <laughs> photo with the Power Rangers. And that's my Barbie car. You can't see the Barbie logo, but that's it. That's it. Every girl needs a Barbie car. Let me just tell you. <laughs> Every girl and boy. Um, let's talk about, so Hightower High, you know, I know what it's like to grow up and, and want to be a reporter, but have to kind of leave the town that you live in. Oh, yeah. So when you left Houston and moved to LA and did all this stuff, I mean, it's scary, but girl, you made it. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I did, but uh, I really, it really took those steps. You know how it's like you kind of have to start in Timbuktu and work your yes. way up. So I started in Missouri as a local news reporter and then made my way over to L.A. and dived into the entertainment news space. And so that's a completely different lane. You see there I was working at ET Online in more of a digital and host producer role, but I've been able to do red carpets. I've been able to do so many different things by taking that leap of faith and really using my degree. How many people can say that? I know, and doing what you want to do and having fun and meeting all kinds of not only celebrities but the people that you're meeting too on the show mm -hmm. um, it is so rewarding as well. Oh yeah it definitely is celebrity or Joe Schmo. Right. I love stories and so that really is my life's passion to be able to do that tell stories in a new way and this show gives me the opportunity to do that. I love that and Cash in the Attic does air tonight. Yes it's tonight y'all tune in y'all tune in it's a good one so this one is kind of a surprise but if you look at the teaser it's a lot of dolls that I'm encountering and I know you said you love your Barbies yes but these dolls are kind of looking a little creepy a little scary so, yeah so <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Also, you're in town for a birthday, right? Yes. A shout out to my brothers. They're celebrating their birthdays this weekend. Oh, happy birthday. Hi to your mom as well. Courtney, it's so great to reconnect with you. Yes. And congratulations on all your success. Yes. Thank you so much, Courtney. Absolutely. Well, for more information, check out the Scene on Houston Life section of our website. Don't forget that premiere is tonight. Well, Prospect Park has been entertaining football fans for years, and now they're planning on doing that with an exclusive tailgating menu. Joe Sam is there now getting a taste of all the seasoned action. Hey, Joe.